Welcome! Today, we are going to introduce the section of Multisim. So this is how the interface of Multisim looks like. Let me brief you some of the sections of Multisim. This part is called Menu Bar. The second one is known as the Standard Tool Bar. Over here is the Component Tool Bar, which you can find the different types of component. This section is known as Design Tool Bar. Next, this part on the right side, you can see the Instrument Tool Bar, the different types of measuring instrument you can find from here. This one over here is the scroll bar, using which you can do up and down, or you can move left and right in your project. This area is known as circuit window, and these are the scroll bars using which you can move into your circuit window from one place to another. The next on this section is known as active circuit tab. Let me now show you the standard toolbar. This button, new, indicates that you can open a new file from this location. When you click it, a screen displaying recent or blank files will appear. These are the different installed templates that you can use for your circuit preparation. And if you have created any templates, then they are available in this section. Today, we'll go and open the blank one. From here, you can create another blank sheet in your design toolbar. You can see that this is your design number one and this is your design number two. So this shows your active circuit tab. This is your design number one and this is your design number two. So whatever circuit is active on your screen that is shown from here. How to make a simple circuit in Multisim just like this. To begin, let's click this one, New, and let's create a new blank design. Click Create. So in our diagram, we need one DC power source and four resistors. This part here is the shortcut for component toolbar. And also this part here, you can see options. And one of the options found in here is the component. Just click this. And these options will pop up. So just scroll here and try to explore these options. But with our diagram, let's click this one, all groups, and then choose sources for our DC power source. To find the specific source, it's either we just scroll this one down and up or we can search it from here. But in our case, the DC power source is just over here. Let's click it and click OK. Just drag it down. And for our four resistors, we will again click this one as the resistors are found in basic. Let's just click this and just do what I did when performing and how to find the source. Here in our case, let's search it resistor. So this one and click OK. We need four, so just do it again until we reach of having four resistors. Also, if you want to rotate a resistor or anything here, just right click in your mouse and this option will pop up and click this. So we are going to connect it now. Just follow what I'm doing. Now, they are connected, and if you want to change their value, just double-click this one, and let's find the part on where we can input the value. This one over here, and put any number you want, and click OK. And that's how you make a circuit diagram in e Multisim. Just feel free to do some experiments for you to widen your knowledge about this one.
tutorial in today's season. We are going to learn how we can prepare our C circuit. So let's begin the season and quickly prepare our C series circuit. So far of all, we will bring component which we require top place source of step voltage. Step voltage. And the ground. Find back the menu bar on top. Place basic three resistor and capacitor. First three resistor. And one capacitor. After all this, arrange it and connect. Connect. So we we're going to input value or each component of circuit. Value of R1, 8 ohms, and the R2 and R3, 30 ohms, the capacitor is 20 microfarad, and the voltage is, the initial value is 0, and the final is 100, step time is 0, the output rise full time is 0.1 and, and and let let us now solve the total resistor, first is the R2 and R3 using parallel method Equal is 15 ohms. This this parallel equivalent is 15 ohms. In order to find the value of time constant, we're going to use the formula tau equals resistor and capacit times capacitor. Our resistor is 15 plus 8 this 15 is equivalent this two resistor r2 and r3 and this 8 is equivalent to r1 and multiply the capacitor 20 microfarad and will be multiplied by 5 and this is our time constant after that, we have to compute the voltage drop of V2. And this is the value of voltage V2. In order to prove the voltage drop, as we can see in the transient graph, they will be the same value. Go to the transient and set the initial condition to zero. And start time will be zero and the end time is 0 0.002. This is our time constant. And we find the voltage to and add then run and this will be the happen 
Ito find the voltage drop of V2. As we can see, this Y2 will be 65.217, it will be the same, our voltage drop. Here, in RL circuit, when we find the step current driven by an AC power supply, we need to stimulate the transient response of the circuit. And let me demonstrate it to you. It is just the same method just like what we did from the RC series circuit. Just open Multism and start a new project. On the upper left corner, select Play Source, then select Place Basic. And then, drag and drop a resistor and an inductor from the component library onto the workspace and connect them using wires. Once all the parts are connected, an RL circuit is created. Now, let's put some value in each component. To put a value, just double click on each component to configure their properties. And we need to set the values for the resistor and an inductor. After that, set the AC voltage source to provide a step input. We can do this by configuring the source to have a sudden change in voltage at a time. And after setting all the components we have in RL circuit, just select the interactive, find transient, and click run. And here, we can plot the current waveform and observe its behavior over time. Just remember, you can adjust the simulation settings and parameters as needed to accurately capture the behavior of your specific circuit. 
in order to comprehend the step currents and transient responses of RL circuits, we have explored the complexities of their design and analysis under AC voltage sources. I hope this session is informative and valuable. Engineer, keep electrifying the world with your potential.